Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I'm in Raymond, Illinois, which is a really cool town. It's not huge or anything, but it's really... I drove in and I saw a lake, what I thought was a lake. I think it's just a flooded, um, <laughs> a flooded golf course. But this is Twisted Whiskers here in Raymond, Illinois, and I'm really excited to go inside. It's a really pretty day as well. It's actually not really hot, which is a good change of pace. I just walked in and I noticed all of these Art Nouveau frames. There's so many really good ones and they've got them priced um, for retail because you just don't see them and there are some really interesting frames here. Look at that one. And they have old photographs. And then look at that with the cat. Perfect for Halloween. It's very cool. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's really neat. I haven't seen this many before. Look at all of these lamps. Wow. I'll try to show you some of these things a little bit closer. We just don't see this much of them. And there's some really nice antique glassware too in these globes. Wow. Oh, look at that beaded piece. That's really awesome. $4.29. So if you're a collector in this, you gotta come over here because this is where it's all at. It's all being hoarded here in Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> but they do shows too, I was told. So maybe you can go out to some antique shows. That's a really pretty shade. Oh my gosh. Is that a, do you know what maker that is? It, does it have a maker? The, uh, like Stu Ben or something? It's nice. Ooh, and look at that. It's like a peacock tail type. Wow. There's a dragon on top of it, on a finial. <laughs> okay. That's a really neat mirror too. Wow, yeah. This is where you gotta come for this. Wow. Oh, you want more lamps? There's more. I just realized. <laughs> Look at all of these lamps of every type. Oh my gosh. Wow. So, are they written up on? I'd like to know more about them. There's just prices on the tags. Some really pretty slag, slag lamps. <gasps> Look at that with the faces on it. Oh my gosh. It's like a whole table. Now that is cool. How much is that? Where's the price? I don't know, I don't see a price, but that's really awesome. Oh, that's a pretty slag back there. That sort of blue and mauve. Oh my gosh, seriously. I didn't think I needed a lamp today, but oh my gosh, that looks like cotton candy, the colors on that. <gasps> How much is that? Now 229 is not bad. That is really cool. Should I buy a lamp today? <laughs> I might actually, I really like this one. If the, if the glass is all good, I might. And the base is cool too. I'm not kidding, I, I really like this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's really pretty too. Oh, Batman. Look at that one with the dragons in it. Nice chandelier style. Wow. This is very cool. Ooh, there's birds on this one. Now that is very nice. It's like a, a satin glass with reverse painted birds for 200. Nice little, like a boudoir uh, size. And a nice pretty frosted. My gosh, I feel like this is the type of stuff that if, if I don't buy it, I'm gonna regret it. So I need to definitely look at everything closely because it's been a minute since I bought a lamp or anything for myself. And you know what? It was just my birthday and I really didn't buy myself anything. I really didn't. So that looks like clouds. Oh my gosh, that one's 449. It looks like the sky. I like that, the shape of it. Wow, bird. And they have bridge lamps too. That's a nice one with the, 
I might have one very similar to that in my living room with the way that it kind of looks sort of deco on the top there. That is cool too. See, this is just stuff you don't get to see very often. You really don't. And that is neat too. It's like, it's just me saying that is neat. That is neat. Everything's neat. I just haven't seen this many lamps in one place. And let me tell you, it's not just the sheer number, it's the quality. I haven't seen this much quality of lamps in one place. That's, and then they've even got like all these little dresser boxes. I mean, it's just so pretty, 300. Like you, it's just a nice, good size. Mostly we're looking at like Art Nouveau, some craftsmen, early 1900s. That's really pretty. I wonder if that's Fenton. When I see that red frosted like that, I think that, but... I mean, all color combinations, all shapes, all sizes, that is a really pretty mirror. Mirror. I say mirror. <laughs> it's a regional thing. 229. That is really pretty. Look at this one. 139. See, I'm anxious to know like what all the styles are called. That looks probably, that just might be like a drop pendant or something. I'm not brushed up on all my lamp terminology. You have to ask Jocelyn, crazy lamp lady for that. That looks like a Majolica or Majolica piece over there with the, with the bunny on it for 49. I'm wondering what it would hold because it looks like it's a vessel of some sort. Do you see that? I'll try to zoom in right now. So the glaze is the glaze is a majolica. Majolica, 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 majolica. It's however you want to say it. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Let me back it back up. Look at that one with all of the Oh wow. That is very good. That is very good. And that's like a fish bowl. Oh my gosh, with another dragon on it. It's a common theme around here, dragons. 449. Now I wonder what the provenance is on something like this because I I don't know. I don't know. Is it just a fish bowl? I'll find out. Okay, I was trying to get a little bit of information. Now these two lamps so we've got the two shades right here these are steuben and it's the fold the pull the fold the pulled feather design on it for some reason i was thinking peacock or another but it has to do with birds so so i'll show you close up so now unfortunately the light's kind of washing it out a little bit but it's this creamy yellow color and then there's that green can you see the green there so it's like this kind of lime green color really awesome and then what i was assuming was a fishbowl actually is a fishbowl it's from about the 20s or so and i was told that it's early in a way you could tell that it's early is because there is no anchor hawking symbol on the bottom and the mold itself is a little bit more irregular than some of the more mass-produced glass pieces that you would find so that's really cool but most of these are just general slag glass also what you would use for stained glass uh, like p pieces in your window same material and it's in a lamp but i think i'm gonna buy myself a lamp today and i wasn't thinking i was but that's you know it happens so <laughs> there's just so many pieces and hopefully we can see them all oh well that is neat too i wonder now what that would be just maybe a dresser piece? I would think so. Maybe you just put that on your dresser for, you know, different little things. $249. Now look at that one. That is an interesting fish bowl. So it's this green, but it's almost like this uh, iridescent green, probably created with some different salts in the manufacturing process, similar to a carnival glass. Can you see, you can see that sheen? So this one is $18.99 price-wise, not, not the year. Although, not far off, huh? Oh, an Etch-a-Sketch. You seem a little out of place. <laughs> oh, that's cool too. Another dresser piece. 
I didn't know this would be lamps. And look at the beaded purse over there. That is nice. That's a larger one. Normally you see them and they're like the little smaller ones. That's for a bigger gal. That's... <laughs> oh, wow, is that a crystal ball? Oh, I really like this one. I think it's a frog. It's a very dapper frog. Oh my gosh. I just didn't realize that there were styles like this. I, it's always fun to see something new that you didn't really know existed. It seems like one of these days I might want to fish now. If only for the bowl. <laughs> oh, that's nice with the ivy. Now, I wonder if that's pewter. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Sign piece, 1890. 1890. Around the other side? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, and like a fairy or a nymph or something. Oh my gosh. So this is seven, about six ninety nine in price. It says K. Can you see the back stamp? You can just read that amongst yourself because I'm not going to pronounce Kaiser's it. In. Kaiser's in. Okay. German. German. Oh, that is really cool too. The colors on that, very nice. It's funny. It almost reminds me of like a lamp, like you'd see out um outside. Okay. Mm -hmm. Carmet, those are French. There's fairies on three sides. Are they bronze? Yeah. Okay. So we've got a pair of vases over here. They're really cool and they're bronze. You get $7.29 and you must take the pair. You must. So they have little fairies on. Aren't they like, so cool? Very cool. They're the French. I don't know if I said that. And then right here we actually have a really interesting piece. It has pencil crystals hanging from it. A really nice delicate form and there's a dragon another dragon it's hanging on the wall and this is an adaptable piece so it can either be hung or a sconce or a table, a sconce or a table lamp so you can have your way with it now i'm still oh i like that little vase too you're kind of nice little art nouveau thing so i'm st i still think i'm gonna get this lamp over here mm. i just like the colors I do. I do like you. Okay. Oh yes, and I was told everything is original, so there's no reproductions. Oftentimes you can, you know, be fooled, or if you're not paying attention. There was a lot of them. Craftsman was real, that resurged, you know, in the early 2000s or so, all those Craftsman lamps and furniture and everything. But this is a lot of, look at that stove. Every time I look somewhere, I see something else. It's not a stove. It's not a stove? Nope. What does it do? Butler's heating piece that goes in front of a parlor oh. fireplace. So when the master got home, he put the plates in here. Oh. When the master got home, it's there to be warm. Look at that. So it warms your food. That but butler. Up against the fireplace. Up against the fireplace. How original. People that just had. Very, very rare. I've not seen it. Wow. That's neat. Oh, is that for magazines? Mm hmm. Look at that. We have several of those. So, this magazine rack would be $4.29. It's just an interesting form. Vernon Verona made it. Vernon? Vernon Verona. Vernon Verona made that one. Up here, Geneva. Right here in Illinois. Oh. Hmm. Oh, that's cool too with the little I'm sorry, I'll just uranium. <laughs> that's pretty. Has like a deco feel to it with the glass little accent on it. That probably will glow under black light. Maybe. This is a really interesting piece. It's like a Lady Liberty, but sort of like a younger version of herself. And she's holding up her flaming fire, like a nice frosted glass. So this one is 7,900. Very interesting piece. Wow. Right by the checkout. Here's the other crystal ball. That's really nice. Nice stand and everything. 
So if you're in the market for a crystal ball, here it is. It's in your future. Oh, and here's another one. $12.99, that's a nice good size. You could start your very own shop. Okay, so we're taking a little bit closer look at things up front here, and this is a really interesting pocket watch holder. And you will notice that because it has a big opening in the middle, obviously you slide in your pocket watch, and it's open in the back. This one's mounted on marble, and it is from about 1840. Very cool. And just a piece that you just don't usually get to see. Right down here, we have a lot of little trays. Now there are a couple ashtrays in here, but these are mostly for calling cards, I found out. So these would go near the entry, and whenever somebody popped by your house, the maid could put in, or you if you're just, you know, well, I would assume you'd have to have a maid if you could afford this, but somebody in your family would put down a calling card so that you could get a hold of them. Look at these little things, though. There's some really pretty ones. This one says, woman's friend. Good old woman's friend. And then we've got little babies here with a sailboat. And she is swimming in the ocean with a tail. She has a tail. Mermaid. She's a mermaid. That's right. When women have tails, they are mermaids. <laughs> we've got a couple thermometers here, which are very interesting. Harder to find with the F on them because normally they would be a C for Celsius. So these would be French. So made in France, and you know over there, most of the world, they're on board with Celsius. We, well, we're still the Americans. We're still over here on Fahrenheit, like we're gonna change the world, but we're not. So these are harder to find than the Celsius counterparts. But we've got 249 over here for this one. And this lady, she's hanging out at about 300 for her. A Couple little ink wells. Now, ink balls are interesting because they actually reproduced these, so you gotta be careful. And uh, but these ones are very nice. So two forty nine for this one, and two forty nine for that one. That one, that one's more or less my favorite because it has that lady on there all over. So we have here a pair of lamps, and these are really fun. They're American made, and they're by Oscar Bach. These are spelter. It's a type of pot metal, a very specific type, and it is also gilded with gold. I just noticed these actually, they are fireplace pieces. So we've got, I'll show you the front of them. We've got these little people on there. They are really awesome. Looks like you get them for about 900 each. They're priced separately, so I would think maybe separately. But yes, they are for your fireplace. That is awesome. Look at this pedestal here. 1400 that's a nice stand. You really are. Oh, see, out of place. It looks so out of place. We've got like a Texas wear bowl here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so yes, my lamp is up front and we're gonna, I'm gonna check out soon. But I just feel like I'm going to be inundated with comments saying, oh, you didn't look here enough. You didn't look here enough. Why didn't you look at that? Well, I have a scattered brain. That's the that's the problem. Look at that one. See, that's another fishbowl. And there's that frog again, living his best life, holding them corks. Nice. Every time. Oh, and there's another one, Mr. Frog. He gets around. Oh, these jars are cool. There's like an Egyptian one. Wow. That's really cool. I like that jar. 229. Not sure what it would have held. I'll try to find out about these jars because there's apparently a collection going on over here. And they're all around 249. This one, well, this one is 229. This one with the how is this on there? Okay, so is it like a screw top? I don't know, but that is, there's some heavy weight to that. That's nice. All right, so I found out that these were humidors. That's something I would have never guessed. I was thinking some sort of maybe spices or, you know, but these are very ornament, ornamental because they would be for men most likely. And we've got this one right here. And, and this would be one of my favorites because it's an Egyptian revival piece. And it is a humidor. You put your cigars in there. 
cigarettes, tobacco, things like that. And I'll show you this one because this is a Freemason type. So you could put a wet cotton ball up underneath there and that's what would keep your, your tobacco from drying out. So that is very cool to know. And they are not common. Although they're, you see a lot here, but they're not that common. So speaking of Egyptian revival, I did see, so we've got that piece right there, very cool. But I was also told, this one has little pharaohs on it. I didn't know that those were pharaohs. At first glance, they just look like nouveau styled ladies. And then there's also an Egyptian revival set of bookends right here by the Ronson Company. And that's another American made company. Very, very cool. So these are about 900 for the set. Very, very pretty. Mm. All right, so that was really insightful. I found a lot of interesting things in there. Like I said, stuff you just don't get to see. So hopefully this was a learning video. Definitely was for myself because there were a lot of things that maybe I would see in passing, sort of think that it's this or that, not know really the whole backstory, but that's the added benefit, Mr. Trump. That's the added benefit of having an owner like this, someone who specializes and enjoys doing what they're doing because they do the extra research. They wanna know the backstory on things and it makes it that much more enjoyable whenever you're shopping at a place like this. So I'm really excited for my lamp. We're gonna get that home. It was about $250 with tax and everything, but it's like whatever, cause I love it. I love it so much. So I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye-bye.